but being in the UK, um, it made sense in the beginning, you know, because suddenly my my world perspective went from an island to yeah, another to, big island to another big <laughs> island, but an an island that's yeah. connected to the whole world, yeah. you know. And so um, it made sense, but I also had the feeling there that hmm, I was looking around, I was thinking, this is wonderful. There's so mm. many things happening, mm. but this is also not my place. Mm. These are not my people. Yeah. And I don't know what I meant by my people. Yeah. But I also felt that from the beginning. It was a, it was a different culture. Yeah. Um, and I think that's the moment where I decided for myself that no, you know, I decided, no, I'm not going to do the further study. I'm not going to practice law because it doesn't make sense for me. Okay. I was, uh, I was shadowing some people in, in law firms in London and I, oh, in my soul, it didn't feel right. Mm. I didn't know why exactly, but I, know, I knew that this is not the life for me yeah. uh, for, for so many reasons. Um, and so I need to be bold now and to say no. Um, and so I, I remember calling my family on this on the day telling them i'm not going to continue with law and with all their love they asked me okay but what are you going to do now and i said i don't know yet but i'll tell you when i find out okay and it took some time i was yeah i was in london for maybe eight months mm. seven months um and then it came a time where during these meetups and things, mm. uh, it was sustainable development, and then there was uh, sustainable agriculture. Mm. So, well, even that was new to me. Mm. Um, and then I thought oh, I studied law. Probably I should do something with food policy. Mm. So then I was hanging around those circles, mm. and also going to farmers markets during the day. So seeing, making a bit more of the connection with food, and something stuck. There was something that was drawing me to this food debates, food related mm. talks but after a few months i i felt that this is not enough for me because there's people speaking about it but i i have no idea of the basics so i thought yeah. i should go actually to farms and spend some time there and see uh, to work with the soil with the seasons to see actually mm. well, what we're talking about to see it in action and on the, on the most basic level yeah yeah, yeah. so in one of these talks, there was a, we watched a video and there was this, uh, this woman in the video who said, my name is Jyoti Fernandez and I have an agroecological farm in the south of Devon. Mm. Um, and that was it. I had my laptop, I typed in Jyoti Fernandez, south of Devon. Mm. Uh, and then I found the name of the farm, sent her an email, said, uh, this, is, this is who I am uh, right now. Can I come to your farm uh, for a few weeks? And she said, okay. So a few days later, I just packed the backpack and I, I went. So I was also exposed to different side of things. Mm. Uh, at the very practical level, I milked a cow for the first time, mm. um, made cheese, uh, saw how much time it takes and how much effort it takes to grow tomatoes. Mm. Uh, for example, we live here, we've got chickens at the back. Yeah. Whenever someone comes to the house, and I tell them, you want to see the chickens at the back? Their face lights up mm. because they, they see chickens for the first time. Mm. You know, I don't think they feel the same excitement when they go to the supermarket and pick up a, yeah. a pack of nicely packed uh, chicken breast. You yeah. know, because you actually see things and make connections in your head, and it's something so natural. <laughs> to increase the public understanding of the food system, mm. I think that's what I see as my challenge now. Um, so I've been working on some, uh, I want to work on these videos mm. a lot more to, to get this, this message out there that food is not just something we buy from the supermarket, but food is something that comes from the soil and it's connected to everything uh, yeah. we can imagine. There's all these relationships. Yeah. yeah, for example, in the beginning when I came here, for me, I thought organic is the way. That's yeah. the label I'm looking at. If it's not organic, I'm not eating it. Mm. But then I was sitting around the table, people were preparing this wonderful meal most of the time it was not with organic ingredients but then i thought what do i want for the world you know mm. is it more important for me to 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 eat organic and to somehow live forever you know mm. or is it or is this also part of the organic you know to connect to people to sit yeah. around the table to spend time with people rather than to eat just what's good for me yeah. and so then i may i'm making these choices i have these dilemmas every day mm. but i think that's also part of it and that's why being absolute in anything 
think it doesn't work. That's just my, that's what I think.